What's up guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about what to pack for Memorial Day weekend or really any summer vacation that you might have coming up. So I'm in my new apartment right now, which is why I haven't been filming lately. I've just been moving and unpacking and all of that, but I am going to be doing an apartment tour, which I'm really excited. I'm just waiting for some last minute pieces and like more furniture and stuff. But this is my bedroom, there's nothing on the walls yet. It's very plain white and gray, which is what I like. Um, but yeah, I will show you guys that soon. Just if you're wondering why my background is different, that is why. But anyway, I quickly want to share with you guys what I'm packing for Memorial Day. And I kind of break it down into categories this way. I make sure that I cover like every outfit group. But yeah, I didn't want my bags to weigh too much because I do have to carry them onto a train. I'm going to East Hampton this weekend with a bunch of my friends. So I'm really excited. It's going to be warm. So obviously all of these outfits are like very summery, beachy themed. But I'm just going to jump right into it and start with the first category. First up, I'll just start with swimsuits. I'm not going to show you the bikinis I brought because I just brought a, brought a plain black bikini and a plain nude bikini. Um, but I will show you the one pieces. I'm very into one pieces lately. And I feel like when you're going to like a vacation where it's like a huge group of people, I just like feel more comfortable in a one piece. I don't know why. Um, they're cuter. You can just wear them with shorts over them. So this first one is this gingham one piece. I'm obsessed with this. I've worn it as a bodysuit already and I've showed this in other videos. But I love how it looks. It just fits so well and I'm obsessed with gingham this summer. So this is just like perfect to wear as a bathing suit during the day and then if you like go to dinner or something you could throw on jeans with it and you won't have to change. That's kind of the same thing for all of these bathing suits. I, you really can use them as bodysuits. This bathing suit was, so this bathing suit's new. Really bright rainbow stripes are super in especially in swimwear so I fell in love with this. It has an open back. I really like it. Once again I'll probably wear it with like my Levi's light wash shorts. Alright guys I know barking. He wants to go on the bed. So the last bathing suit that I'm bringing is this really cute white and black um, one piece that it has crisscross detailing up the back. Once again, tucked into black shorts, white shorts. Just simple, cute. I guess I'm really into patterns in my one pieces now that I have them all together. Okay, so next up I'm just going to quickly show you my top. So I'm bringing a plain white t-shirt and a plain black t-shirt just because I live in these. And you never know when you just want like a casual white tee and jean shorts look. I'm actually bringing this top that I have on now. It's just like this sheer button up. I thought it'd be really cute with a bikini top under it. Right now I just have like a lace bandeau on. Um, but my plain black bikini, I think I might just wear this tucked into shorts or something with a bunch of necklaces. Next up, I am so excited to wear this. It's not a top, it's more of like a duster. Um, but you can button it in the front so it's like tighter. But I think I'm going to wear it open. You could either wear this over a bathing suit or over like the crop tops with jean shorts. I'm obsessed with the pattern. I love the colors of it. It looks so like boho and chic. I'm obsessed. So I'm beyond excited. I've been saving this for this weekend. And I can't wait. Once again, like whenever I'm like going to. Like it's one thing if you're like going to like a beach or something. Like I'll wear a bikini. But if I'm going to like a barbecue or like a big thing where there's a lot of people around. I like to have something on over my bikini. So even if I wear a plain black or plain white bikini and I have this over it, I just like feel a little bit better with that. Okay, and I haven't steamed my items yet, but I'm gonna steam before I put them in the suitcase, but I just wanted to show you guys. So this crisscross top, I showed you guys this in a haul. It like crisscrosses. I think this would be so cute with white or um, denim shorts. So basically how I pack is I pick my tops first and I do like to pick basics but since it is summer I do have like some of my fun printed items and then with what whatever tops I pair that's how I pick which bottoms to bring I just that's a very useful tip which I always use next up I'm just bringing a black crop top I'm bringing this in white too but it's actually in the wash right now um, but for going out at night you never know when you need like a black or white crop top so I'm definitely bringing that and then I'm bringing this really cute white off the shoulder bodysuit which I have not yet worn yet um, but I have a skirt that goes with it, which I'll show you in a second. And then I have this really cute tie top, which has to be steamed so bad. So just ignore that it's like so wrinkly, but it has a really pretty floral print. It's so boho -y. It reminds me of like a uh, free people piece. Um, but I thought this would be so cute. You could do it over a bathing suit top, but I feel like I might wear this out at night with either jeans or jean shorts. Not really sure on the weather yet, but I love that top. I think it's so cute. And then I just have another plain white bodysuit. You never know when you need plain white or t-shirts or bodysuits. Okay, so next up I'll show you guys the bottoms. Um, I am wearing my light wash jean Levi shorts, which I am bringing. They're just these cut off denim shorts. So keep that in mind that I am bringing a light wash blue pair. But I have this really cute skirt. It's pink and white plaid. This is what I plan on wearing with that white tube top. I've been so excited to wear this look with like a bunch of necklaces. I feel like it's going to be really cute for going out at night or to dinner. 
Next up, I just have white Levi's Distress shorts. I like to bring a, like a light wash, a white, and a black pair. So these are just my whites. The light wash, which I'm wearing, and then my black pair. This way, these could go with any of the tops that I brought. And then since it might be chilly, I am bringing a pair of Levi's jeans. Um, which can go for day or night and then a black pair of skinny jeans just with this lace-up de detailing These are obviously for night whether I do it with like a white tee white bodysuit or the black crop top This is how I based my um, This is how I decided what pants to bring after I packed my tops and I swear it's so helpful Definitely try it if you're packing anytime soon and since I'm not exactly sure the weather I am gonna bring this cropped um, black leather jacket. It's not heavy at all so I'm not gonna be like, dying of heat but it's like that perfect throw on piece at night one night if it's rainy I think it is raining this week or if it's just very chilly and then next I have this denim oversized jacket which I love I love pairing this with denim shorts like denim on denim I have a lot of Instagram photos with this um, but I'm just gonna bring this this is good for every day just to throw it on and be done with the denim jacket so those are the only jackets I'm bringing I don't think I'll need any more than this Okay, and now for dresses, I am bringing quite a few dresses because these are like very quick, like throw on and go type things. So let me show you this romper first I'm bringing. This was from Tiger Miss. It's very wrinkly. I am going to steam it. Let me just zip it. Sorry for the sirens, guys. I'm in Manhattan now, so you hear all the sirens. I'll wait for it to stop. Crazy. My window's not even open. You should hear it when it's open. It's insane. But anyway, this white romper, I'm excited to wear this. I'm going to belt it, and I think it'll look really cute. I just have to iron it. Um, I'm going to bring this gingham dress with the belt. This is really cute for dinners or any time. I just want to look a little girly. Um, this white, I showed you guys all these dresses already, so I'm going quick. But this white cherry embroidered dress. I just love white dresses, especially for Memorial Day weekend. Then I'm bringing this plain white dress with buttons up the bottom. Everything will be linked down below, guys, because a lot of this stuff is new. So if you ever want to shop any of the items. But this plain white dress, you never know when you want a plain white dress on like a summer vacation day or night. And then I'm bringing another gingham. This one's a little more sexy because it has the open back, so maybe even this one at night. Um, but I'm not quite sure yet. But I'm a huge fan of the dresses with the buttons up the middle, if you can't tell. And then for belts, I love a good belt for day or night. And I know I keep saying for day or night, but when packing, you do want to take items that like you could wear to the pool, but then you could also wear out to dinner as well. So I'm bringing this like black southwestern knee belt, and then I'm, I'm also wearing a belt, so I'm just gonna bring this one as well. I love that this one hangs down. Uh, I'm just gonna bring this whole outfit to be honest. I'll probably rewear re this outfit in the Hamptons, but oh well. So I'll bring two belts that I could wear day or night. Okay, and then for shoes, I'm bringing my Southwestern boots. These are from Topshop. I am obsessed with them. I literally wear them every day. They are so comfortable, so cute on trend. And I feel like they're the perfect summer boot, even though they are black, they're leather. Um, they look really cute. I was just wearing them today with this outfit. Um, but I'm also excited to wear them with like any of the dresses, the shorts, anything. So I'm going to bring these for the daytime. And then I am going to bring a black sandal, not knowing how dressy I really am going to get, because I know the Hamptons is very casual, but in case I go to a nice dinner or out one night and I want to look dressed up, I am going to give myself a heel option. And then for another casual daytime shoe, I'm bringing my white loafer. These are just the leather ones from Steve Madden. Um, they're dirty. I'm going to clean them before I go, but these are just perfect for the day to throw on with jean shorts and a tee or a tank top or even one of the bathing suits just like walking around the house or whatever. And then the last pair of shoes I'm bringing is a pair of white sneakers. I live in white sneakers in the summer. They go with any of the dresses, um, shorts, anything. Even at night, I feel like it's so casual there. I honestly might wear sneakers out depending on the day. Um, but yeah, I just needed to bring a sneaker option. So those are the four pairs of shoes I'm bringing. I really didn't want to bring any more than that, even though I probably like wanted to. But I really tried to keep it down to four. And one of them I'm going to wear on the train there. I'll probably wear the sneakers. So I... The sneakers, I said that weird. Um, so I'll just pack the three. And now for bags, once again, I really had to limit myself, but I had to bring my new, like, newest beach bag. So this one was from Urban. I'm obsessed with it. I know a lot of people have, like, the beige, like, Colt Gaia one, I think it's called. This one I thought was different. It's more my style. Um, also, I liked how I feel like no, I've never seen anyone with this one. I When a trend blows up that big, I if I don't have it from the beginning, I never like to get it like midway the trend, if that makes sense. So I figured I would get something different. I also like that it's black. So I'm really excited to wear this. You could wear this with a bathing suit, but you could also wear it with like a simple outfit like what I did today. I actually wore this today. 
Next, my favorite woven bag. This is from Lulu's. I'm obsessed with this. It has a long strap if you do want to crossbody it, but you can just hold it by the top handles. I think it's so cute for the, during the day with all the bathing suits out for lunch. It's just such a cute bag. These are very on trend as well. Okay, and then at night, I'm just bringing this plain black little bag. It'll go with everything. It's so small, so you can pack it in your suitcase and you don't have to worry about it getting crushed or anything like that. So this is my going out bag option. Once again, I don't know really how dressy I'm gonna get at night, but this is like a versatile bag that you can wear day or night as well. Alright guys, I really hope that this video helped if you are traveling for Memorial Day or for any time in summer in general. I hope that this kind of like helped you like figure out like what to bring, what not to bring, what to pack less of and things like that. Little tips and tricks that I use. I really hope that they do help you. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.